for 10 minute demonstration on ANSYS Fluent Material Processing Workspace for High Viscous Flow Model. We are going to kick off our Fluent Launcher. We're going to select Materials Processing and hit Start. ANSYS Polyflow has been the traditional software for high viscous flow modeling. This new workflow is defined within Fluent GUI and uses Polyflow as solver. A wizard is used to guide the user for easy setup for extrusion, multi-layer molding, press forming, blow molding, thermoforming, and film casting analysis. This particular example is of a simple direct ex extrusion modeling case. We are going to start top down and complete our setup. So let's first read in our mesh and this mesh could, could be in fluent or polyflow format. Uh, however, a word of uh, caution is uh, the mesh types are limited to triangle and quadrilateral in 2D and tetrahedron pyramid, triangular prism and hexahedron in 3D. Now that we have our mesh, well, let's look at it and it seems good. We can move on to the next step where we're going to define our material. So our material is a simple one. It, it has a density of 950 kilograms per meter cube. And again, it, as a simple material, uh, we're going to use constant viscosity value. And there are many more options uh, for viscosity, but uh, we're going to stick to this simple material. Next step is definition of the cell zones uh, where we need to define our cell blocks. So we have two zones, the dye and extrudate, uh, which, which is allowed to deform. And they are both of type material one. Next step is setting up the boundary conditions. We're gonna start with the inlet. And our uh, surface names are uh, carefully selected for us uh, during the meshing process. Our flow specification is of mass flow type with this given rate. Next is the specification of the outlet. And, our, and this is of type outflow. which has a uniform reference pressure value of gauge pressure. Now let's define our walls. Next zone is our free surface, which is allowed to deform under the extrusion process. And please note that when we select the surface, it turns orange, so you can identify it and pick the correct one. And this also requires a neighboring fixed part. Final sets of boundary conditions are the symmetry surfaces. Next on our list, uh, 
is the definition of the mesh, the formation of the mesh. So we hit new and it's going to be the type of extrudate. We need to do pick the deform zone. And and it's two bounding sides. Now that the uh, setup is complete, if we like, we may save our session by hitting file session and then giving a name for our new model. Next step is to execute the solution. So we're moving down the branch, we'll expand solution. And what we want to do is run the calculation. So let's hit calculate. And this is going to uh, start the execution of the run. And as you can see, two more tabs open up in this region. If we look under transcript, we can see the solution as it progresses. As I mentioned before, polyflow here is, is the solver, not fluid. And we can conversely look at the plots where we can track the convergence monitors. And now the solution is complete. Let's take a look at what type of results we can look at. I'm going to expand under graphics. I'm going to click on contours, define a new contour. I would like to uh, look at the pressure field. And I would like to look at all the surfaces. And when we hit display, the graphics is going to come up, but it's going to come up under the graphics tab. So with our mouse, let's reposition the domain and here we can see that the fixed regions are highly pressurized and we can see the deformed part. Another way to look at uh, the solution is lo looking at the flow vectors to see how the uh, flow, flow is developing. So we pick vector, we're going to look at velocities, our field, it's going to be normal velocities. And let's pick all the surfaces for display. And this shows how the velocity field is. And the flow field. Yet another way to look at is path lines. We can visualize the flow field using path lines. So let's do a new path line. We're going to co color them by velocities. And let's release from the particles from the inlet. So let's hit display and look at how the flow behavior is. Thanks for your attention and have a good day.